What the fuck is going on? Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, <laughs> Toe Tags in the building. Of course, we got some some shit going on here. There you go. Now we got it to work. The sums of bitches. What's going on, everybody? It's Wednesday night, and you know what that means? It's a knucklehead sports. We late, but it's all right, though. We chilling like villains on penicillin with a Mac 11. You know how we do. Um, Yeah, man. Crazy, crazy. Playoff games. The Jaguars come from behind victory. The Cowboys beat Brady. That that that's some crazy shit. We got the Giants coming up. Uh to play the Eagles this week. Don't mind me, I'm I'm eating. The Giants are playing the Eagles this week. Which should be one hell of a game. And we all know that Krills is the Eagles fan. Poche is a Giants fan. If they come on tonight, we, we should have some good back and forth. Uh, yeah, man, let's let's get into this shit. You you guys think that Brady is done? Is Brady slipping? Is Brady finally hitting that cliff that um how uh, what let him what damn what is he's hitting that cliff that they're talking about? Do you think? That's right. Goldberg. 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 My bad, pro. I was late. So, you know, I got you, though. I got you back in the chat. We out here. I know Hazel about to see it. But, uh... <laughs> see? Yeah, listen to it right now. Yo, from my podcast to your podcast, so my podcast to your podcast, we I'm invading. I'm invading from my podcast to your podcast. Shit. I'm telling you right now, but yeah. Do you think Brady's done? Because <laughs> they 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 they're uh this is true All right. So anyway, do you think that that uh that um Tom Brady's done? Cuz I you know honestly uh <laughs> what did I start? <laughs> you started a mess in agenda in agenda in agenda podcasting in a universal podcasting from Sports AEW. We're all over the place tonight. Fuck it, we'll do it live, baby. You know how we do it in this motherfucker. No, we'll do it live. Fuck it. Word. But <laughs> hold on, they hear me again. That's right. That's right. We do it. We doing it big in here, Hazel. Don't fuck around. That's right. Shit, I'll talk about sports while while we talk about Goldberg. Yo, pro, let Hazel know that Goldberg used to be a football player, and that's how we get six degrees of Kevin Bacon. All right. Let him know that shit. That's right. I, all day. All day. I can hear from both ears. Shit. Both ears. Shit. I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows the seriousness of this. <laughs> shit. All right. <laughs> we got special guests on. <laughs> we got special guests on from another podcast. <laughs> That's right. We live everywhere. And then now y'all should be able to hear them. Shit. 
Yeah. Word, you know, I'm I'm watching you listen to me watching wrestling while I'm talking about football. That's it. That's it. Tell them. Yeah, I can't hear myself. Yeah, I could I can't I can't start talking about football because y'all came in here, Rams sacked everything. We talk about Goldberg. I'm trying to talk about Brady. Hayes over here we're insisting that we talk about Goldberg's illustrious career in the NFL. He won about six Super Bowls. You know. <laughs> <laughs> he want he, he yeah he wants to twist the top off yeah you know what you you go talk about aw i'm gonna talk about sports and we're gonna call it a night we just started we out here we do it live see y'all didn't think we knew each other see we do it live johnny what's going on Oh, Dave said Bill Goldberg is the greatest of all time. I don't believe. I know he knows that Goldberg is a. Good <laughs> night. <Not>... Word. <laughs> Shit, man. All right. Now, now we got that out the way. We got, we got that out the way. Juggernaut, what's going on, bro? So the question is, do you think Brady just had a bad year? Or has Brady hit that cliff? That, uh, and then Howard Letterman, how, not Howard Letterman, what, what is this, what is this motherfucker name that was on first take with Stephen A a couple years ago? He used to do the boxing. Come on, man, somebody help me out. Uh, Homer. Uh, the the Jay Crawford down. No, who the fuck? Molly. Yo, if he's not a host, then what is he? Um. Fuck it. Stephen A. Smith. Max Kellerman. There you go. Not, not Skip Bayless. Max Kellerman. There you go. Do you think Brady hit the cliff that Max Kellerman was talking about? This was like six years ago. He was talking about this cliff for Brady. Juggernaut says he hit the cliff. I don't know, man. I feel like he just had a bad year. You know, Julio Jones got hurt. Their, their, their line wasn't that good. A lot of shit was off. I think him coming out of retirement probably messed up some of the plans they had. And maybe could have messed up some of the, the mojo. I don't know, man, because we all thought that when Brady got to the Cowboys, he was going to turn Brady on. He was going to turn it on. And then that was that just looked bad. The only thing that looked worse was the Cowboys kicker. I don't know how you miss four field goals back to back. Like they're extra points. They're not like regular field goals. They're extra point field goals, and you miss four of them back to back to back to back. Somebody's not being a Cowboy <laughs> next season. Do you think the Bucks? Convince Brady, uh, convince Brady to take a backseat and they draft a quarterback, or do you do they ride it out or try to trade him? Lay off the Goldberg bong juice. I can't. Goldberg's the greatest, Tyson, and you can tell Hazel and and uh, Pro that I said that. They know already. 
Brady going to the Raiders watch. Yeah, but the Raiders don't have no line from what I'm understanding. They don't have an offensive line. And if Brady really wanted to prove he was the GOAT, because anybody can win seven out of ten Super Bowls. That don't impress me. But if Brady really wanted to be the GOAT, come to the Jets and get the Jets a Super Bowl. Whatever quarterback gets the Jets a Super Bowl will be considered the GOAT. Especially after the 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 Joe the Showtime Joe Namath fucking deal with the devil. For some reason, it's like the the Red Sox, the Mets, and the Jets have a curse on them. It's like, we won one, <laughs> and then that was it. You'll never get another one, but it's time. It's time. I feel it. Anthony, what's going on? First of all, when was the last time Tampa, Tampa Bay drafted a quarterback? Shit. I don't even know. You asking the wrong person. This is where Holt or Cruz comes in. Let's see. When was the last time the Bucks drafted a quarterback? All right, let's see. Um Tampa Bay Buccaneers draft history. Wow, what the fuck? Quarterbacks drafted by the Tampa Bay Bucks since 2000. Let's see who they got. Joe Ham uh, Hamilton, Chris Sims, Bruce. I'm not even gonna try that name. Josh Johnson. 2013, Mike Glennon. 2015, James Winston. And then they got some dude in 2021, Kyle Trask. No one we ever heard of. <laughs> no one important. I don't recognize any of those names. And I was what? 2021. That was two years ago. But are they in a position to draft a quarterback this season? What happened to James Winston? 2015. Bucks selected uh, Florida State quarterback from number with the number one overall pick in 2015. He holds multiple Buccaneers franchise records despite playing only five seasons in the Tampa Bay, even though Winston was the Great fantasy football player putting up dazzling numbers. His leadership was questioned as his team struggled to win games. He went 28 and 42. That's crazy. How do you have multiple? How do you have multiple records on your team in a losing effort? Something else had to happen there. Something else had to happen there. That's crazy. Here goes the fucking guy. Here goes the fucking guy from the sky with both eyes, look surprised, pissed off, missed off, and trist off. And we're talking about Hedward nift off. <laughs> now let's lift off back to Brady. Back to Brazy. Because maybe he's in the chat, but. Quills, how you doing, my 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 guy? Eagles in one. Oh shit! <laughs> Clean sweep. Eagles in one. <laughs> Eagles. 100%. Eagles it. in fucking one, bro. Yo, so the, the the question that I was stalling with, you think Brady hit that cliff that uh, Max Hellman was talking about all those years ago? No. You think it was just a bad season? No. I mean, to to Brady standards, yeah, I guess. You know, if it's not a Super Bowl from Brady, it's like, what happened? Yeah. Like, this is a weird year. But no, I, Brady had a phenomenal season this year. Despite what he had and what, what he had to overcome. Wait, did he? Like, did he have a phenomenal season or? 
Who, Brady? Yeah. Yeah. Brady finished third in the league in passing, bro. He threw for 4,694 yards with 25 touchdowns and nine intos. Yeah. And uh, so maybe a slight curve down, but that's due to injuries. Yeah. Because Julio Jones was injured, right? Yeah. A lot of them were a lot of them were injured. Godwin was out from half of the year, more than half of the year. Old line got banged up later in the year. Like, you know, they struggled, man. They finished about eight and nine. But they made it to the playoffs. And nah, man, no signs of nothing. Tom did better than Kirk Cousins in yardage. He better than Joe Burrow. I mean, there's some names up there. Josh Allen. He has more yards than Josh. Like, I don't know, man. Brady's there, bro. And he's top eight in touchdowns. Out of 32 quarterbacks. The way they're talking on other sports. The way they're talking on other sports is he lost to the Cowboys. He should he should quit. A racist history. I was expecting them to, to lose to the Cowboys. Like Dak had to lose that game for them. Like that game was Dak's. If Dak yeah. didn't perform, they lost the game. Because I knew that the Cowboys defense was gonna hold the Tampa's offense for sure. They weren't hundred percent. Struggled. They don't have everybody. And Cowboys so, had a good defense this year. No, they have a solid defense. They have a very solid defense. Them against the 49ers is going to be very uh, interesting. because that They're both solid defenses. But let's see what Brock Purdy got. You know, this is his test right now. Um, Nah, man, Brady. <clears throat> Brady's still Brady. If he was to go to any other team. Yeah, he would have. He would have won that. He would have been in in the, in the divisional rounds right now, if he was on any other team, man. Say Minnesota, he would have gotten there. Seahawks, I think he would have gotten there with Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. Any other team, bro? Raiders, I think he could do something with the Raiders with Devonte Adams. Like, yeah, man, nah, Brady's Brady. Brady, he still got it. I think so. I'm a firm yeah. believer, and I think he believes it. He ain't going nowhere yet. Yet, you know what Not I yet. think. You know what I think. Brady's struggling with the fact that he can only be considered the goat if he comes to the Jets and wins a Super Bowl. Yo, and you know what's funny with the squad you have now in the Jets, Brady could do damage with that. Like, he, I would have definitely made wild card minimum. <laughs> yeah, minimum, minimum wild card, but. I think I would have had a, a playoff. Um, yeah, man, with the defense and nah, man, and what Brady could do in the locker room, what Brady could do as a, in, like his aura, that Brady aura is special, man. And the fact that he can hold the ball for sixteen minutes on one drive, dude, it's Brady. Like, why are people still on that? Like, damn, bro, it's like I don't know, man. I guess that's the narrative, but Brady got it, man. I would love him on my team too. <laughs> Jalen Hurts will get out the way, bro. <laughs> like if I could, sw- if I couldn't swap Jalen Hurts with Tom Brady right now, like today, I will, I would. And that, and like Tom Brady not knowing the playbook, like straight up swap and just throw him in there son- uh, Saturday, and. I think we go to the Super Bowl. He comes in, meets the owner, meets everything. We gay hand him a jersey, and he just steps on the field. Omaha, <laughs> Omaha. <laughs> nah, man, but leave Brady alone, guys. I think Brady's still good. He still got it. He was still zipping the ball. Yeah. Lack of movement. He doesn't want to take big hits. That's obvious. Like, how can we put that on his back? Like, it's obvious, bro. A man is 40, what, five? Like, it's obvious. I wouldn't want to take an NFL hit. From uh from a twenty six year old, now I'm good. Yeah, confusing him for Brett Favre. Yeah, Brady's not stupid. <laughs> he's not, not trying to play tough and prove something like. You yeah. Know? In the younger in the younger days, I felt Favre, but older days, man, come on, Favre, like, yeah. go down, go down. Don't you don't have to take that hit, bro. Well, I want to see more of you. I think he came to the Jets just to get his ass kicked. Just to be like, see, I told y'all, I can survive. I told you I'm tough. That was for the Wrangler commercials. He needed to do that. 
You want to be tough like Wrangler jeans? Play like Fav. So that was actually like his interview. Like this was that was his shot at that Wrangler commercial. You want to see how tough I am? I'm for this commercial. <laughs> My man watch, played football just to get Sunday. an endorsement. <laughs> he played that with the Jets just for the endorsements, <laughs> <laughs> just to show how how like tough he is and how his pants don't rip. Like he got that juice. Word. I mean, chicken rings from yo. I, I don't think I don't think it's gonna. I hope it doesn't get to that point where he takes a serious injury, uh, for him to retire. I hope not, but I think it might take that one hit, like that one hit, like enough to like sit his ass down for one play. You know, you know that hit I'm talking about. Yeah, have Brady walk into that tent. And that's when he'll tell the, the trainer, like, all right, man, look. Yo, you know. I ain't never coming back to this tent again. I'm out. <laughs> Yo, you know that uh, the the TV show Best Man Holiday? They made a t- the, the TV show for Peacock. Who's cock? The, we call it the cock, but it's Peacock. Oh, the Peacock. I think they're missing a P. <laughs> the PP cock? <laughs> the PP cock. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, um, best man's my best, uh, best man's holiday, or best man's wedding, or whatever. With Tate Diggs and all of them back in the day, that old school movie where uh, the dude's getting married and he finds out that his uh, wife fucked his best friend. Oh, you yeah, almost had me. And Maurice Chestnut was a football player. All right, what was the other movie? Brothers, right? Was it Brothers? That's the one I'm confusing them with. Pro- yeah, probably. Because so the movie was about like the four wedding. Black guys. Yeah, like... yeah. The movie was about the wedding. Okay. So like his best man, whatever. In the TV show, um, Maurice Chestnut's character, he's a former Giants running back. And he's like, yo, I'm going to come out of retirement. And he's in practice. And it was like, yo, he's looking good. He's looking good. And one of the kids pop him. Bow! Smack the shit out of him. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm done. Yeah. In practice. He got hit in practice. Like, yeah, I think yo. I think I should never came back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't. I'm, my, my, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ed. But that happened to to Lucky. He went to go play football. <laughs> he, went, like, he made the team. He made the team. <laughs> I think was it the team? I think he made the team. Or he was practicing with the. No, he played the team. <laughs> I think he. Played. I think it was a preseason game or a practice game. Don't don't quote me, but the moral of the story is he was it was at a game or practice. He threw a ball for like sixty three yards, touchdown, but he got hit. <laughs> <laughs> he got hit, and he told me like the adrenaline, like first time, first first time football, like he didn't play high school, he went straight like college. He just tried it out because they were taking walk ons, and he actually, you know, showed something. Um. And I think it was practice. It was practice. Uh, he got clocked. And he woke up the next day. And he, that's when he, it hit him and realized. When he saw that bruise running down his shoulder to, like, his hip, he was like, nah, I can't be, do- I can't be doing this. I can't be waking up bruised going to class. And like, I, if you're taking painkillers. I was dying. But true story. My man said he I got a saying, life to look forward to. I'm good. It's not for me. I wasn't. I wasn't ready for this. Word. But I gave him. I gave him credit though, bro. Like he never played any collegiate, like yeah. organized football. Like he forced gumped that motherfucker. He was just walking by the hallway and saw a flyer like tryouts. Like oh, oh, they he took the, <laughs> He took the number. And he called. <laughs> he just my went up said, to the field. <laughs> my man said, "Oh, I'm gonna come to the treeouts." <laughs> that was dope. Will you teach me the football? He plucked the number out the flyer called the one eight hundred number, one eight hundred tryouts. He just you know <laughs> got onto the field and yo he did his thing though. The fact that like they considered him, <laughs> did, did he get got, like let go? Like no, I'm not interested, yeah. not calling you back. Then he they, you know they called him back. Did he get his fifty three dollars for the for the, the five hours that he was there for the experiment? <laughs> nah, I don't know. I hope he had insurance. <laughs> you right. My fault, Lucky. 
funny story, man. Funny story. True story. <laughs> Yo, I feel like Lucky has a bunch of fun stories. Because that's not the first oh, one that I heard. Oh, stories? You what? <laughs> Yo, loaded, my man. Like, oh, oh, my crew, our crew, like, is, we're loaded with, like, fucking stories. Individually, too. Like, they could all tell you stories about me. And we could all say with stories about one individual. Then the next, like, it's funny. So, Eagles in one. No. Yeah, Eagles in one. Um, Lamar to the Vikings. What you, what to you the think? Vikings. Imagine a trade. Kirk Cousins for Lamar Jackson. Yeah, man. How Kirk. stupid you think the the Ravens are? Would you make that trade? Know. Would I make that trade? Yeah. No. If if you're the Vikings, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But if you're the Vikings, if I'm the Vikings, I. Oh, if I was the Vikings, yeah, ye- ye- I would make that trade in a heartbeat. Yeah, I'll think about it for a night. I'll sleep on it, but I'll take that trade. But if now the Ravens, it, w- it won't be a heartbeat. If, but if I was the Ravens, I, the only reason why I'm saying this, only under the circumstances that Lamar Jackson demands trade and he wants out immediately, and the Vikings are taken, like I'll take, I- I'll take Kirk. I'm not expecting much from Kirk, but he'll buy me some time to, like, draft and get some players, you know? Not that Kirk is whack. It's just that... He's not a Lamar Jackson. He's not solid, bro. He, I mean, he played good against the Giants, man. It was just that last play. Fourth and eight, and then you throw a three-yard pass. Like, that's the type of shit that I I talk about when I say, yo, it's Kirk Cousins. Like, that's the shit I be talking about. You know, like when I had my doubts that they would win, it's because Kirk is capable of doing that. And I I knew he would. I was just waiting for it. And it was so happened to be on the last fucking play. But there it goes. <laughs> it's know? fourth and 52. Let's run it up the middle. My oh, man, that shit. What, what, what are you doing? It's fourth and eight. And you throw it for three yards to like your second year tight end. I think it was first time playoff guy. Like. Defend it. it was he, he wasn't open. <laughs> he made a good catch, but the defender was like white on rice on him. Like, why? Like, what you thought was you wanted a Jeremy Shockey moment? You wanted a him break the tackle, and you can't trust Kirk, bro. Not to say, I mean, Kirk and Lamar are very similar. Just Lamar is flashier, and I said it. They have similar goddamn careers, bro. Right? Don't they fold in clutch moments? Lamar, I think, finally got his clutch moment when they beat the, the Chiefs this year. Was it this year to beat the Chiefs? That was like his big time moment. Didn't it's happen tough. in the playoffs, but it's, I don't know. That's pretty interesting. I, I don't know. I, I got me thinking, wow, like is Kirk like Lamar? Is that the same value now? Just without the without the, the mobility, right? Yeah, they both went to the playoffs. The Ravens went to the playoffs without Lamar. I mean, Lamar, I you, Lamar gave him that that boost, but Huntley took over and he was all right. He's like a Lamar, not two point oh. He's like a Lamar point five. <laughs> he's like half a Lamar, but he still got like Lamar jeans. You know? Am I crazy? Yeah, I'll make that trade. What you think is gonna happen with the Raiders? I think the Raiders are gonna get somebody. They gotta get somebody in free agency. Like I think that I don't know. I was gonna say it's a good like, well ran organization, but it hasn't been proven yet in recent years. So, what happened to the Raiders? Uh, hope I think the Raiders have no hope I think the Raiders don't believe in themselves because yeah, all I'm seeing is stars on the fucking Raiders and everybody's talking about the Raiders the Raiders the Raiders and I'm like they just lost every the fucking Raiders, game the Raiders because they they were trending the right way they were trending the right way 
You think somebody like the, said that Brady's going to the Raiders? You think he's going to the Raiders? I mean, the team is right. They got the number one leading rusher there with Josh Jacob, he, he dog. He got Devontae Adams, dog. He got Hunter Renfro, dog. They got Max Crosby, dog. They got Darren uh, Waller, dog. They got they got this they got a core. You know they got they got some they got some talent for sure on 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 the Raiders. New stadium, you know, it's Las Has Vegas. It. That could be exciting. He's no divorced. He don't he doesn't have a ring on it. Where? Going to Las Vegas, have some fun maybe. <laughs> Giselle, don't get jealous. <laughs> um, I could see it. I could Do they have it. a defense? No. Mm. No, I, I'm not confident to say they have an O line. Yeah, and I don't think Brady wants to get fucked up. They have a decent, but but I mean, I guess, if you I get guess, Brady, you gotta you gotta do something for him. Yeah, you gotta invest. You have to, but I I don't know. I, I'm I'm worried. Well, I'm not worried. I was worried for Justin Herbert, but I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. Uh, Mike Williams didn't play. He wasn't. He didn't have his top offense with him. Not to say him. it's an excuse. He always gets the excuse, but it, it was more Trevor Lawrence than Justin Herbert. So, yeah, you know what I mean. They were I up. Had, they did their thing. I had so. Mike Williams on my fucking fantasy team the entire year. <laughs> I think he played like two games for me. <laughs> I had Keenan Allen the entire year. <laughs> when the fantasy games didn't count for me, he was killing it. But I left him on the bench on purpose, like, you know, fuck you. Word. Um, yeah, man. I don't, yo, the Dallas the 49ers. Let's get to that real quick. Chat. This is Brock Purdy. For real? Like, this is what we're doing? I'm not a Cowboys fan. I hope they lose royally. I hope they get screwed, like, in all aspects. Like, I hope they lose the game. Like, a whole bunch of fumbles and, and interceptions and, and mistakes and penalties and flags. I, I want to see it all. But Brock Purdy, is he for real? Like, I want to know, is he for real? Can someone get him on the phone? Get him on the phone. Somebody call this guy. I want to know. I want to know if he's for real. Everybody's Normal guy. Cole, Cole, Cole Brock. <clears throat> they got Christian McCaffrey. What a uh, what a safety net! Yeah, you got George Kittle. Good, good they got trade. George. K <laughs> Panthers were on drugs. You crazy? Oh my god, he's crazy. My man, uh, uh, Christian McCaffrey pulled the uh, Cordavius Tony. The guy that was hurt all the time in the Giants when he went to the Chiefs, he was catching touchdowns. Remember <laughs> that guy? He was hurt this whole time, preserving his body. Like, I ain't going out there to get injured on one play, one mishap. <clears throat> nope. Let me rest up. I'm been healed. I, oh, it just hurts, Doc. Patrick went <laughs> home, said, Run, come play for my team. Tony was like, Yes. <laughs> And now he's catching touchdown, and he's in the playoffs. Hey, he probably was like, I'm not playing with Baker Mayfield. Get me off the team. So, shout out. Shout out to him, man. That's a hustler. <laughs> uh, that's funny, bro. But I hope Kyle, I hope Dak chokes, man. I would love to see it. I'm praying for it. Um, I'm actually nervous for the Eagles game, man. I'm actually fucking nervous, bro. Yo, the Giants, when they are momentum, they're hard. Like, yo, the playoff playoff Giants are different than regular season Giants. I've been saying this. Because almost 
almost every time the Giants make the playoffs, they're in the play, they're in the fucking Super Bowl. Or very what close I've seen. to yeah. yeah. And then right. they, it's always we yo the Giants don't got no quarterback, but, then, but then the and quarterback then, yo, but up. that was the narrative. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, damn, it's not like Eli Manning, one of the greatest, heading into the playoffs. You know what I mean? No, it was yeah. like ill. He was. They were people were laughing at him. You know what I mean? And then his team just got great with the defense, stepped it up, and. They did what they did, man. Like I'm not, I'm not taking anything away for the 80th fucking thousand time, but yo defense, bro, that defense, man. I mean, he didn't lose the game either. He managed and he did what he yeah. had to do. You know, he bettered himself from the normal Eli Manny that we knew from yeah. the season, but that still that still counts. <laughs> he's like still uh, counts. He's like Andy his, Pettit. His clutch factor went up. Hurrah! I give you that. His clutch is. Clutch. He's a clutch guy, but he's so trash when he's like normal Eli. <laughs> His records <laughs> speaks for itself. I'm not making this up, but he's like Andy Pettit. Yeah, he is top ten in passing yards and shit like that. But it's uh, fuck that. Like, why does that have to be one of the criterias? Well, it is one of the. It's not the criteria. You know what I mean? It's one of. I get. I could get yeah. that. It's one of, but it's not the. He's top ten passing yards. That's Hall of Fame. Whoa, whoa. You there long enough? You're gonna get passing yards. Whoa, you know. But yeah, man. Um, I'm actually nervous, man. Giants are coming in hot. Uh, my friend. I just spoke to my friend earlier. He said, "Oh, we're on the uh, revenge tour," and I was like, "Oh, that's cute." You know, Vikings beat you guys. You beat them. Ha ha. We beat you twice. You beat us. Ha ha. I, I see where you're going with this. <laughs> like, the revenge tour. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. I get it. That's cute. It fits the narrative. I let them have it. But I actually told them, yeah, I'm nervous. You guys are coming off momentum. Yeah, yeah. Not coming off a feel good high. You coming off a we can't get, st- we, we underdogs. We have nothing to lose high. Yep. We could play to both of the wall. We're expected to lose. So if we lose, so what? We impressed that we're in this position to lose. Yeah, and Jones so, is looking and, good. And that's kind of hard to play to play against, whether the team is talented or not. Like, you know, the heart will will carry you. <clears throat> you have nothing far. to lose. Yeah. Yeah, nothing to lose, bro. There's no fear in that. While my team, we had a buy, there's big expectations uh, uh from us. It, it shouldn't be, but it got there you know coming into the season we were supposed to be good but not like this um yeah Jalen Hurts a lot of talks about him he's the guy he's improved he's the man this is the this is the game I was waiting for man this is the interview for me this is let's see it I don't but let's see it yeah he has he has improved um let's see if he chokes or not let's see if he's ready to second second year in the playoffs he was their last Brady knocked them out. Go figure. Uh, but it wasn't a good team overall. So let's see now with this machine he's he's uh, operating. Let's see. Is he hurt? I still think so. But that's not in my factor. That's no excuse for me. Any other Eagles fans I can't vouch for. He might still be banged up with that sprained shoulder. Not to the fact that he can't play. But I feel like it might be some bother later in the game. When yeah. it starts sw- Throwing halftime little breaks, get stiff. I could see that maybe get some Especially shots. If he gets hit, oh, he's gonna get hit. He's gonna get hit because he's, he's gonna run. Yeah. He, so he's gonna get hit, slide, hit the floor. He might get some quarter zone, quarter zone shots in the in the yeah. halftime. But, who, who's the who's the defensive guy in uh, the Giants? Timberland, uh, Dumbomar. I don't what? know. I don't he know. got the, that that French, French name. He's like he got that blah, blah, blah. yeah. He's like uh, Giants, man. Thumbelina. Uh, Come on, chat. What the fuck are you here for? If you can't help me out. <laughs> He's like the new straight hand for the Giants. Oh, Kayvon Thibodeau. You hear Thibodeau. Me there you go. Yeah, yeah, Thibodeau. Yes. You're talking about the coach. No, 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 no. I don't you know, know the coach. guy on defense. I'm like, oh, that was <laughs> Thibodeau. me. That was my, yeah, was, yeah. Kayvon Thibodeau. So the 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 stats of this for the season for each team, 
Um, in offense, my team is ranked second in the whole league. The Giants are ranked 18th. On defense, my team is ranked third overall in the league, which I called. I called before the season. I probably wasn't on record, but I, I, I said it top five. Um, and the Giants defense is ranked 25th Gym. in the league. <clears throat> this is like coming in to Saturday's game. Like, yeah, Giants won, but the Vikings, they were throwing that ball around. Like, you know, they was they were moving that offense. Yeah. Um passing, my team came in ninth. Giants came in 26th. <laughs> There's only 32 teams in the in the league. Yeah. They, they... <laughs> so they have no, like I'm scared of those numbers. Like, like you know, like it might not they matter. Don't care. They don't care. Yeah. yeah. They have nothing to lose. Um, but they are, they do beat us in rushing, which is surprising. My rushing were ranked fifth, and the Giants are ranked fourth. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one, man. I'm not happy the way my team is entering the playoffs. All right, I'm happy for the bye, but the way we crawled into the playoffs, it wasn't exciting for me. Man, yeah. it was uh one in three. It was one in three that kind of hurt after like being 13 and one. Like, I don't know what happened there. I mean, injuries, of course, but come on, man. Like, we have a good a team good enough, even like for a decent backup, we should win a game. Uh, we didn't play any superior you, teams, so it's like you what think the that was the, that was by design? Mm, I don't know. Like, I don't trying think so. out trying out new shit, resting people. Maybe trying Minchu because when my when Jalen Hurts got hurt. And Gardner Minshew came. We threw the ball a lot, which was like I like we're fifth in rushing, and we need a we need a cap a game to solidify home field. Let's get this win early. Let's let's stamp this early so we can start resting players for the rest of the two games. The last two games wouldn't matter. Yeah. So I don't think they were. Tr- I, I feel like they didn't try to win. That's how I, that's my personal opinion. They didn't try to win. Because, like, if they did, they, they should have went to our bread and butter was running, especially with our top quarterback hurt. We should have ran the ball. We're good at running. We have, like, well, the the best offensive line. Like, if he, not, it'll be top, tied with to first. <laughs> tied with yeah. first. <laughs> Yo, Anthony, he does want you to reply. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> We're talking yeah, to you I'm, I'm talking to you guys, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> looking... I'm looking at Krills on my screen. I'm looking him dead in the eyes, and he's when looking at y'all. When y'all see me look here, I'm looking at Toe on yeah. my monitor. I'm I'm looking at you. Right when now. I'm over here, I'm looking at you guys. Obviously, yeah. when yeah. I'm looking at here, this is my second monitor where I can feel the stats and stuff. Yeah, so you get all frames of Krills. <laughs> you get the whole face shot, yep. and I don't like you, motherfuckers. That's you why I never talk right, into the camera. You got the middle, and you got the left. <laughs> Um, but yeah, man, I, I, if they should have, if it, the coaching, now we got to go to coaching. I'm still nervous about my coach. Like him adapting to games mid game is scary to me. It's still iffy. He's done good this season. I hope he keeps it up, but I, I, oh man, I don't know what's the game plan. I know what's the giants game plan. Cause they showed it against the Vikings. You know, they're playing to their strengths. Like, they, they're the, the Giants' game plan, from what I saw, was like, yo, do not let the Vikings' offense get on the field. Yo, Giants, they scored without looking to score. Like, they were, their main focus was getting first downs. Like, their time of possessions was, was crazy. Like, they took up quarters. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I, what quarter was it? Was it the second or the third quarter? The Giants had it like at eight minutes and they finished or they capped off that drive with like it was two minutes left <laughs> like to go. Like they ate quarters by rushing the ball and Danny Dimes doing all that running. They were just getting first downs. That was, yo, fundamental football, yeah. which is smart. They have a smart coach. So I think it's my team versus the coach of the Giants. Like that's that's the game plan. Like we have to figure this coach out. For this team, you know, first year with the team, so it's hard to see what's his scheme, and you know, he could switch up at any time. We don't know this guy that well with this team. Yeah. But I'm nervous, man. 
Like my team don't. I hope my team doesn't get cocky, and I know my team gets cocky. Like I, they do. I don't know if it's something about Philly, but they do. Like they get so cocky. Like so one and done. Yeah, like I, when they, they beat the Giants and they had the the first round bye, they were celebrating like they won Super Bowl, bro. They was popping champagne in the locker room, swinging shirts like number one in the NFC. Woo! This feels good. It's like. Oh my God! You're embarrassing me right now. Like, it ain't know, over. You guys represent <laughs> me. Like, what are you doing? We don't celebrate till the job is done. Burn. Nothing was done. This was supposed to happen. Don't move, don't celebrate. Come on now. Come on, you guys. Yeah. A year. You needed one game to cap it off out of three. Yeah, you got it. Like you were supposed to. Don't don't do that. Don't celebrate it. Come on now. Who's so, gonna have... I... no, okay, good. Hurts, hurts. Yeah, I don't think Jones is gonna be running like that. I think Hurts might run on default because of his shoulder. If his shoulder's really that oh. injured after a while, he might just say, "Fuck it, I'm running." Hurts, hurts. I'm gonna call the game. Hurts is gonna start running early in the first quarter. Like we're gonna try to chop him, like the same way they're gonna try us to chop him because my D line is serious, so they can't hold the ball for long. So they got to get rid of that ball quick or they're going to be running the ball a lot to get around my defense. They they can't hold the ball long. Not with my D-line, at least. I would think we 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 got some – I got dogs on that D-line. Everybody got like 10 sacks and up. It's crazy. Historic. I think we tied with the Bears. Like all-time leading sacks in the season was 70. Oh, shit. Some shit. Yeah. Some, well, we could have tied it with two more. I think we could have tied it with two more. The, like the, the 85 Bears, the, most, the craziest defense ever. Um. Yeah, bro. I'm looking at the highlights. This shit is crazy. So they can't hold the ball long. My 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 guys were hungry. Um. So it's gonna be a lot of running, man. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a rushing it's gonna be a rushing game, man. And some key throws, some rushing game. It's gonna be a rushing game and some key throws to keep the drives alive. And we should be all right. We should be okay. Who's the wide receiver? Who's the wide receiver on the Giants? His name starts with an S. Slayton, Darius Slayton. Yeah. He needs to show up. Yeah, he had some drops. He had a big Yo, drop. At the end of the game, that was a big drop. He got lucky that defense came through. The defense is okay. I'm not saying that the, the Giants defense is a problem, or but there's nothing to sleep on. Yeah. They really have that rookie that like, cave on Thibodeau that people talking about. Yeah, he really is good. He really is. He's top. He was the number one. No, I'm bugging out. He was a he was a number one prospect, like you know, like people thought he felt too low, like for the Giants, you know, and where he went, like six, fourth, some shit like that. When did he get uh, drafted? Uh, uh, but yeah, man, there's nothing to sleep on, so I'm kind of fucking nervous. I'm happy we're at home, you know that that could that could sway the game, so. Let's see, man. We're getting some players back, man. We're getting Lane Johnson back. Number I'm happy. Five. Yeah. Damn, fourth and six, and he was the fifth. God damn it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, that's a good pick, bro. That's a hell of a pick. That was a good pick. Uh, we should be fine. We should be fine. You think Slayton's a giant next year? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, Maybe just due to the lack of talent that's already on those receivers, but I I I, I don't know because there's some young players here, we don't know, so I I can't even answer that. Maybe if, if he's still on contract, I think he's on contract. I think I think I, I don't know I don't know I can't answer that. <laughs> but, we trade we trade him for Jerry Judy. I I don't know. Mentally, in my mind, we're going to smoke these dudes, bro. But I feel nervous. Like, I don't know. In my heart, I feel like, yo, I don't know. But in my mind, with the analytics and what I've seen and I know how they play, we should win this game, man. But I don't know. It's football. It's only one game. We don't know. The Giants could be better that day. You know what I mean? 
They were the but they were better than the Vikings that day. <laughs> the fact so, that is one game. That's what it is, bro. It's not best out of nothing. It's one. Don't drop the ball. Don't fumble. Don't think about it too much. It's only one game. And you can lose off of anything. A fumble, a missed pass, an interception, a, a missed field goal. A penalty. That a non-conversion. Game. Yeah. Yep. That's the beauty of that sport, man. It's chess. It's like everything fucking counts. Literally. Time management is a f- every fucking thing. <laughs> it's so calculated. It's such. It's a science, man. It's a fucking science. Everything is a... Uh, uh, Everything has data on it. I was gonna say everything is dateable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everything is dateable. You know, the statistics, the statistics, the percentages, the it's crazy, man. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And then we got the Cincy and Buffalo, bro. No one is talking about this game. Well, yeah. we're not talking about this game. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are talking about this game. This game is gonna be a goody goody. Shit. It feels like the only thing that happened this week was Trevor Lawrence won, Brady lost, and now the Eagles are playing the Giants. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing that happened in playoff football. The Eagles are playing the Giants. The Cowboys winning is not news. It's Brady lost. That's the news. But oh, the Cowboys... You think it's because of Hamlin? That that Brady the, lost? No, that that the Bengals and Bills, like, because of what happened to Hamlin, do you think that's gonna take any effects of the game? You think the Bills are gonna play the Bengals again? They'll be like, this is payback. Do you think anything dirty is gonna happen that game? I don't know. I hope not. I hope not. Like, you know. Yeah, because this is the rematch, play- right? Yeah, this is it. And it yeah. counts. This is for a playoff game. This is the playoff game. They so happen to meet again in the playoffs. That's yeah, you know something? That's just, I didn't even think no about one's, that. This is huge. Yeah, no one mentioned it. Yeah. This is the rematch. And it happened naturally. It was supposed to happen. And this might be a <laughs> this might be an awkward game. I hope people come with their heads right. So no revenge, no bounty, no for Hamlin. This is for my boy T. Higgins. Like, no, no. No oops either. No oops. Yeah, Don't be now, rolling people's ankles. But now it's like, does uh, Higgins have the mindset of like, fuck, I don't want to hit another one of these motherfuckers to death. You know? I, at, at this point, I don't know. I think that shit's over with, man. Like, it's playoff. Like I don't want to sound like he doesn't matter, but come on, it's it's he survived. We, we good. Let's move forward. Yeah, he's yeah, in yeah. Good health. He's recovering. He should be walking. He's out of there, I think, soon. Yeah. But anyway, still monitor. But he's fine. Now, I football. Think, I think if they would have kept playing, and the Bengals would have won, the Bulls, the Bills would have came out revenge mode. Right now, right. Yeah, but because the game stopped, it's like we can't hate you. <laughs> it was an yeah, accident, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it clearly was and yeah. unfortunate. Clearly was, but you can't. You don't know what you don't know people's mindset now, man. This you don't, you don't know. People think that, crazy. That might be the way the coach riles them up. It might not start that way. Yeah, it could end that way. You know what yeah. I mean? A play happens when like, maybe they feel like, yo, he tried to run into my chest. Like, what y'all doing? Who knows? I'm just. Uh, this is just for TV. Good TV. Yeah. Is, <laughs> no, but you're right though. You never know what anything can snap. Anything can snap. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I hope. I hope they keep themselves contained. I hope the refs do a good job containing it. Oh, being yeah. a, being aware of it, like you know what happened last time. You, Any smack talk, flag, quick. You cut that out. Like no. Not you know day. who? You know who shouldn't ref this game? The refs that ref the fucking Jaguars game. Oh my god! Cause yo, I swear to God, the Jaguars were getting fucked up every pass. Like I've seen four. Yo, I'm watching Monday Night Raw end the game. Every time I tune to the game, I'm seeing two or three fucking pass interference 
that's not being called on the fucking Jaguars. I'm like, yo, my man was holding him for five for five fucking yards. Get the balls being thrown. He gets belly to back suplexed. That was Vegas. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo, why are they not calling the fucking pass interference? What the fuck? Vegas is gonna find a way to get the to let the Bills win its Cinderella story. Nah. I don't think the Bills are that good. The Jets beat them. The Bills, the, see the thing, the, the Bills, Bills are beatable. Center. Yeah, the I hope not. Nah. Josh Allen is beatable. The, yeah. Josh Allen is continuing to show us signs that he's that he's that he's beatable. That that he's, he's immortal. He's uh, yeah, you know, he's human. You know, uh, the problem for Patrick Mahomes for us is that he doesn't so he doesn't show signs of weakness. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes is crazy, yo. But Josh Allen shows mad signs of weakness. He has. And he continues. He continues, man. He's making stupid throws trying to be Superman. So he needs to he needs to chill with that. <laughs> Joseph but, said the NFL got chips in the bowls now. <laughs> don't be shocked with the Jaguars and Chiefs now that you say that. But that you know how that game is gonna go. My fault, so I mean, I yo, hey, I hope you do. You know, that should be dope. That should be dope. I, 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 so. I want to believe. I want to believe. I want to believe. But it's like fucking Patty Mahomes. Is crazy. I, I told them on Monday, yo, the four interceptions, they're losing by this. I said, they come back. They can come back. Until the game is over, I believe there's a chance yeah. to come back. We've seen some Always. shit in our recent... Yes. Recent years, we've seen some crazy comebacks <laughs> Your word. this season alone. I'm uh, the type of nigga that we could be losing by 70 points and it's 15 seconds left. And I'm like, yo, there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> it's still time on the clock. There's oh, a chance. <laughs> I'd rather lose on a high note, bro. <laughs> yeah, but there's 15 seconds. Statistically, there's a chance. <laughs> right? I don't uh, see no fat lady. <laughs> And that's it, man. That that's down to four games. Down yeah. to four games. This is it. Super Bowl's here. Uh, when is the Pro Bowl? The week before Super Bowl? Yeah, something like that. I don't know if they changed it this year, but I heard they're doing flag football this year. Oh, really? Yeah, legit I mean, flag. It would make it more competitive. And the skills challenge that I've been saying for like over two decades. Like, I'm not that old, but like over a decade, legit. <laughs> I've I been mean, you, saying, you are that old, though. Two decades is only 20 years. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah. I, I wasn't saying that at 18, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Now I hear you. In my 20s, I was like, yo, why don't they just remove the Pro Bowl and make a skills challenge? Not even a flag football. Fuck this flag football shit. If you're not going to play football, don't play football. Yeah, like, yo, do the celebrity football. Do yeah, everything. Do a whole massive skills challenge challenge type party yeah. games the way they can showcase their talent to us show their abilities or you know come up with obstacles that they can show their Almost abilities like a to us contest, but like a similar but with football throw. players yeah. Like, yeah see how far people could throw for quarterbacks the fastest yeah. runners or let's play freeze tag team against team to see who's the last one out like the dodgeball is okay but i think it's outdated with the dodgeball you know what i mean um, yeah. But the dodgeball is cool though. Uh, I don't know, man. Come up with cool obstacles, but fuck the flag football game for what? You're just wasting airtime. We can see mad dope skills challenge team versus team games, you know. But these pro athletes, they're athletes. We're gonna get a show, even with the offensive linemen and D linemen. Give it to them. Those they're freaks. They're, they're athletes. But. I'm going to watch. I don't know what time. I don't know what day. I'll wait. My focus is on Saturday. Word. Win. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> what? We coming out to Rocky, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the, the theme to their uh, build up 
um, commercial. We do. We have. We had plenty of those. But recently now is Meek Mills. Recently now is fucking his music. Like, I get it. He's from Philadelphia. I get it. I get it. I so is Rocky it. Balboa. And Rocky Balboa is harder than Meek Mills. I guess it's politically correct. Hey, you from the city. You make no, meals. You come to the stadium and you bring profit. You come to the stadium and you, you know. Fuck that. I know. Fuck that. I know. The only, but it, the only but it's celebrities, good business. The only celebrities I would allow in sports is us. Does Dallas have the chance? If of course, there's a chance. It, it, it depends on Brock Purdy, bro. Because I think the 49ers are overall a better team than the Cowboys. Overall. Um, better defense, of course. The running game. They got Christian McCaffrey. Uh, I don't. I won't say he's a better rusher. But I don't know. McChristian got yards. He, got, he has a thousand plus, I think. Let me confirm that. My man. Anthony said the Cowboys already won this Super Bowl by beating Brady. Yeah. By beating a, 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 a eight and nine team, limping on limping on crutches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good win. Jesus Christ. Whatever, bro. Fucking Cowboys fans. These Cowboys. Yeah, it's, it's these Cowboys fans. They're cool people, but sometimes they they get out of they get out of bounds, you know. Christian. Top eight in Russian. That's more than Ezekiel Elliott, Tony Pollard. But Christian other- ran for 1139. That's not bad. That's not bad. Eight touchdowns. That's good. I think he broke his incentives. I think he I think he got a I think he had a nice bonus this year. Just off his stats alone. Um it depends on Brock Purdy. Because your defense is solid clips but if Brock Purdy if he dices you the game is over game is over game is over because CD Lamb is not going to bully the 49ers defense the 49ers defense are bullies they're bullies from from D-line to safety they're bullies they know how to tackle they tackle hard they pursue the ball like they smell blood in the water those guys are crazy You think that, that got the, I yeah, can't yeah. I can't judge the Dallas defense effort last game. Like Bucks were hobbled, like no excuse, but they weren't in top gear, man. And yes, the Dallas defense is solid. Like whether they played the Bucks or not, they have a solid defense. Brady's not mobile, so he couldn't what buy time to roll out and you know, of course, your defense might shine. Your defense is built for that. Like, you guys are going to be good against everyone is. Brady can't run, you know, even to throw the ball away. He just ducks and he doesn't get hit. He's not stupid, you know. But with you... Brock Purdy, I don't know. My fault. Go ahead, bro. No, no, no. Sorry. No, no. I'm you just saying with that... Brock Purdy, that I don't know. It's a different story. Mm hmm. That's all. Do you think you think that the if the 49ers defense gets to Dak, Dak is in the fold? Yeah. He, he should fold like every other quarterback would. You know, if they get to the quarterback, nah, Dak is Dak is in a he's he's gonna fold if they get to him. They're gonna fold. They're gonna get to him. At least twice. They're gonna get to him. They're gonna pressure him. Nick Boza. Nah, bro. He's he's gonna get pressured for sure. Clips. Tyrone Smith is playing. Do you have Tyrone Smith? That's that's your big O line. That dude is a fucking trunk. Um, I don't see the forty. I don't see the Cowboys winning, man. I don't know. I think Mike McCarthy could fuck it up for you guys. The coaching for the Cowboys. They could. They could. It's the Cowboys, man. I, I'm still waiting for that epic collapse, that epic fall. Like, you guys could be winning the game, and then fourth quarter, y'all lose it. Like, <sighs> Yeah, Tyrone Smith is healthy. Yeah, he's healthy? Yeah. That's, that's good for the running game. 
I don't know. I don't think it, it's it's not on it's not on Dak this game. It's on it's on Tony Pollard and uh, Ezekiel. I think they need to step up. Yeah, they've been a one good. Uh, they've been a good one-two punch. Yeah, but they they got to up it up a notch. They can't have this game on Dak. Clips. What you? How you feel about that? I don't. I don't think Dak. I don't think Dak could overcome that defense, Dolo. Yeah, he can't do. You know. At least not with those receivers. CD Lamb, man, I'm still not a fan of CD Lamb, man. I, I think he's soft, bro. Like, I don't know, man. I think he's soft. His hands be iffy sometimes. He be having some drops. Michael mm-hmm. Gallup has some nice catches here and there. Do me a favor, Cruz. Look at this man's face. From North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Man, 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 man. I'm good. I'm not even my uniform. I know Krills don't be playing. My my boy Krills. Grab it. Ten fifty nine. Out. <laughs> Close. <laughs> yeah, I, I be Yo, tired, bro. My eyes. Are sl- my eyes are slumped. We live, baby. Go oh, for in the building. Fucking beat. Don DeMarco, Don DeMarco. Me and Toe are both six six. We proved it in videos. That's true. So, I'm 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 fucking six nine. So All right, fuck you, buddy. Exactly. Nah. <laughs> nah. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What's going on, guys? What's what's the talk? What you what you what you what, what, what you got? think? Uh ah oh, shit! But wait a minute, we in this too. <laughs> we we in this together till 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 death do us part on Saturday. One on one, mano a mano, we gonna see who the best is and. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a track of stepping on the number one team, bang, 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 in the playoffs and destroying their dreams. This team is not undefeated. Girls, cover your ears. Oh, no, talk your shit. They don't have Tom Brady. We got it. We've done it before. We climbed that mountain twice. We could do it. I blow you. Exactly. By any means necessary. You trip hurts. You sweep the leg. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Break his legs. I don't care. Donnie Dimes is going to be playing defense. We doing everything. Now, hold on. We're going to hurt our quarter. We're the only quarterback we got. Oh, shit. Who, who's back up? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Now this is my back, my backup. No, no. I'll, I tell I'll. you this. I tell you this from the bottom of my heart. The bottom of my heart. Mm-hmm. You better call Danny Dimes, and you better tell him. Don't be running around like you did with the Vikings. Ooh. You heard? This is warning. Warning. You will your have man, no ribs. Your man's gonna get hurt. I hope not, but just know, I just made that call. So you should make your call. Oh, shit. I do need to talk. Tell to your him. man. I was scared to, to stay in that pocket and throw the ball away, nice and easy, and no check one will down. get hurt. No check downs. No, no, no. Those are intos. <laughs> Those are intos. So there's no check downs over here. My there's man check, said, "Oh, there's only checkmates, no check downs, right?" <laughs> My man all said, right. "If Shaquan Barkley wants to make it to next season, he better not run that if ball." If you guys, if you guys want another boat picture in Miami, chill out. Because whether <laughs> win or lose, all right, I'm talking about the Philly dudes and the Giants. I'm talking about the fans now. It's gonna be a lot of people going to jail that night. All right, <laughs> hey, get it out. At least all I right. have a different prediction. 
I think. Nah, but I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, bro. I'm actually nervous. I'm actually nervous about the game. I was telling you earlier. I am actually nervous. You guys are coming in hot. Um, that was just me talking shit. Disregard everything. Uh, hopefully I'll clip that. Um, yeah, man, I'm fucking nervous, bro. I like, I know my team is better but on paper. Like we've done good things. Like you know, we good. But this, you can't beat. It's hard to beat momentum and nothing to lose. Not even nothing. that on any given Sunday. And it is any given Sunday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, you know what the crazy shit is, though. Facts. My Jaguars are gonna have a lot of any given Sundays. Yo, with this Trevor guy, you're gonna have you're gonna have some years to look forward to. You know, you and your brother, it's something to be hype. Good draft pick here and there, or maybe trade or off season free agency pickup. Some more weapons. Yeah. Well, Cap, Cap is a Panthers fan. We talking about Trevor Lawrence, bro. Trevor Lawrence, we all know. From the Giants to the who switched? Who switched? He just fucked with the Jags. Stupid idiot! I'm a fucking Jets fan. My second team is the Jaguars. This is not new. I've been saying I've been saying this shit for fucking ever, bro. And you don't listen. And you've always you just made the list. Like Uh, so. There you go. I cut it off. My bad. Go ahead. You see, this, show, show walks in here, and I swear to God, I, instantly I'm just like, "Why would you play games with me?" You know what I'm saying? Everyone He's, knows I'm a Jaguars fan. Second fucking team. What? Mm-hmm. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, like, I'm out, man. Who the fuck is I'm you? Like, <laughs> who the fuck is you? What? The Jaguars out of all the teams? They do have a beautiful. They have a beautiful blue. I don't know why. I love that. Blue. They're all blacks, look though. I was waiting yeah, for you to get yeah. to the uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> Once you said that, I said they're all blacks. Like yeah, I know yeah. the uniform Blur. colorways are, are crack. It yeah. got crack shit. Mm. I heard it's because the the. No. Well, whoever makes the uniform is based out of there. No, it's Nike now, right? Nike it's was in Oregon. Yeah, I think. Okay. At least That's the college. I don't know where the fire. dude Nike's yeah. from, but Oregon shit look fire now. Cause uh, Nike went Nike. to that school. Gray and yellow now. Shit is fire. This is always fire. Niggas, excuse my language. Hey, now they making money. The students are making money now, right? Yeah, they they're able to make money now. At least minimum, uno cincuenta mil, fifty thousand. I doubt it. They ain't making much. Speaking of fifty thousand, you think that's a good price for the Oculus? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I got a two one two. What? Uh, I made a funny. He, he, damn. What? What? Get out my business. Okay. Okay. Oh, you hear the knock? <laughs> you hear the knock? Okay. Um, my, my man Jamal Williams, bro. Shout out to Jamal Williams. Uh, f- oh, what team? Uh, what team is that? Mavericks. Bro, Jamal Williams. Yeah. No, nah, Detroit Lions. Oh, I th- there was a there's a basketball play I was betting on. Oh shit! Yeah. Today, tonight. That's funny. Yeah, that's why I was asking. Based on his stats. What? My got the, uh, the ah, yo, I spoke out loud. I looked at my phone and said, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Oh, my God. Yo, LeBron James has Bad. 315 points left to beat the record. If he averages 30 points, 31 points a game, that's 10 games. You think he's going to... This is what I think. Find this guy. It's one point left. He's going to be like, all right, and sit out and wait for his son to come play. And then the first game he plays with his son, just whoop, whoop, right on his alley, son, one. alley-oop from his son. And he's going to break the record and just walk off with his yeah. hands wide open to Creed with arms wide open and just retire right there and just let <laughs> Bronny take over. Throw the fucking <laughs> shoes in the ring. Cloop. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> and, and, yo, and it's, it's going to be on the fucking Knicks, bro. I know it. He's going to do it on the fucking Knicks, that cocksucker. You ever seen the movie Mr. 3000? Yes. Yes. Bernie Mac. That happened. 
he retired and then they deleted three or four of his own runs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come back from retirement. Yep. <laughs> They do that to LeBron right when his sons come back. Yo. Man, what, what, what movie was that? I missed it. Mr. Mr. 3000. Yes. The, the Bernie yes. Mac. Yes, yes. I remember that. We deleted that. about five points because it, it didn't count. You got to come yeah. back and play to beat the record. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, bro. Word. That shit was a funny-ass movie. Yeah. 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 Funny-ass dude, bro. Smart dude, man. He knew his shit. Hell yeah. Rest in peace, man. Fucking talented. The best thing I've ever seen is I ain't afraid of none of you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, man. Word. Oh, man. Off. I understood that till I got older. What he was talking about. Oh, yeah. I mean, why is he just screaming at the crowd? <laughs> I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. You took okay. the fucking power nap? I was slapped. It's that, that sl- the face slapping shit that's on TBS. Oh, you, Kenny it, participated? I knew it. What? You watching that, Kenny? Watching grown dudes slap each other? Yo, it's the first episode of today. You saw the, the, the guy that hit the other guy and his face instantly got swollen? Yep. You? I was the one who sent the video to y'all in the group chat. It was you. All right. Yeah. All right. No, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Because I, I was looking. I was like, yo, was his face swollen to begin with? And Me then it was too. like, was it was like, ha, pong. Yeah, like, <laughs> Some of those people got my cousin yeah. like that because he plays uh congas and stuff. His hand, man, it's like a fucking thick ass lob of concrete. Stone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like my, my man, son, my is soft and delicate, like a baby. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go to one of those events. I'll pay for that. That'll be crazy. I'll start dying every slap. Bow. Oh, Oh, you gonna let him do that? Yo, he (laughs) slapped you, pussy. (laughs) We in the front row, man. Yo, you can't pay me for that. That's disrespect. That's crazy. Yo, you can't pay me to get spat on, slap. Never. I will kill you. I will kill you. You I will go to jail. Yeah, huh? but I'm not gonna let someone hit me. That's you the go first. That's, that's the dumbest part. That's the dumbest part to me. And a fight, I'm going to you do let what you, you hit me. Do. I go I'm first. I'm not gonna stand there. No, my turn. Nah, no, I gotta go. And fucking pucker up like I'm a Barbie. Smack me. But he did what? it for you. So my he... reflexes won't let me get slapped. You swing. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. My my automatic defense mechanism. Oh, you're not. Yeah, yeah. No. we grew oh, up only got trying die. not to get hit. Slap boxing, I never got slapped. I don't know what being yeah. slapped feels like. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hell Maybe. no. Hell That's no. I, I was thinking the same thing. I'm All that shit for five thousand dollars. I could. You be know what that fighting. makes? You're not hitting me. <laughs> word that makes sense because the the UFC doesn't like to pay anybody, and Dana White is, like invested in this shit. So these niggas are not making money off of nothing. They're just slapping each other. Oh, it's the it's, one that Dana White owns. Yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, so this is the modern day, like, the UFC has become the modern day Mondingo fighters. They're slaves. They're slaves wow. that fight for free, pretty much. And, Warriors and, and gladiators you got, for free. And you got John Jones is a house nigga. And, and Ning- Francis Ngannou wanted to be free and have representation. Ngannou. They said nah, and they fired him. You want to talk about that shit? After, you know, we can get into the UFC shit. Yo, Lay sent me a fucking uh, a story. A Mighty Mouse. This motherfucker made $20,000 for all seven of his fucking title defenses. Meanwhile, CM Punk's second fight in the UFC, $500,000. What? They wanted him to have a super fight with TJ Dillashaw. He said, yeah, pay me a million dollars, we'll do it. You know what they it is? They wind up trading him to the fucking the one fighting championship. You know they, don't wanna, they don't want to pay their fucking fighters to fight. And they want to talk about we got the best fighters in the world and, and this nigga's afraid to fight John Jones. He wanted to fight John Jones twice. Yeah, girls, my bad. Nah, it's just business. That's what sucks about it. I agree. You know, it's, and it's a fight business. Like People are really getting hurt and people are like, you know, it's a very risky business. I could die. You I mean, know, but like, what Dana's doing is smart. 
business wise in yeah. terms of like in, in order to thrive in any business or in, even in the marketplace like you need to bring value you know yep. the more the more important you are to to the asset the more you get paid and that's the philosophy they know white is treating these players fighters yeah. i should say night wow look there's nothing to play yeah. with so these fighters and that's yeah, yeah. that's the fuck that's the fucked up part of it you know what I mean? and and that's why mayweather was on some if the money not right i'm not gonna fight yeah because he added value to the yeah. sport no like mcgregor did. added value john jones added value the face the, the you know so, they, pull, they pull in the value the money to the company they're gonna get so, paid yeah so this is the deal though francis Ngannou was francis Ngannou was not on the contract of ufc they're negotiating Mm. And they were like, yo, we'll give you $8 million for X mm. amount of fights. And he said, no. What I want is sponsorship back for the fighters. Representation and health care. And health care for the fighters. And they said, oh, you're afraid to fight John Jones. You can go somewhere else then. You want us to do... You want us to let fighters make money? And, and go... And you know, have health care and, and 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 have representation? Nah, nah, nah. We're good. Because the crazy shit is like you you heard of Stitch, the cut man? Mm -hmm. Yes. When the UFC went to Reebok for their uniforms, Stitch left the UFC because the cut men would have to wear a Reebok uniform, and the only thing they could do is wear Reebok. And Stitch got all of his money from the sponsorships because he would come in with his cut logos from like Nike or whatever he got sponsored from, you know, Venom fighting or whatever. And that's where they make their money. There's a couple of fighters that were like, yo, I make $10,000 off of this fight from the UFC and I make $300,000 off of my sponsors. And you took that shit away from me. GSP negotiated that when I fight, you know, uh, I think it was... um. Fuck. It was for the middleweight championship, uh, Michael Bisping. Like, when I come in to fight Michael Bisping, I'm wearing my fucking sponsor's logo on the shorts because that was like a fucking $500,000 sponsorship that he got on there. And it was like Gatorade, the, the other shit, and some other thing, and he, he got his pay from the sponsors because a lot of these fighters make money off of their sponsorships and not off of their contracts with the UFC. Yeah. Like um, that's crazy how they make money more. They need to make money yeah. outside of yeah. the business, the their Paige, jobs. <laughs> Paige Van Zant, Paige Van Zant is a young fighter. She was like twenty six at the time. She went from the UFC to bare knuckle fighting, and they asked her like, "Why would you go to bare knuckle fighting?" She goes, "Cause I make more money off of Instagram than I do off of UFC, Fucking but I love bad. fighting." Yeah, she's like, "I love fighting, and they won't let me do that shit." So she went to bare knuckle fighting, and she opened up uh, uh, OnlyFans, and dude, she's making buku bucks. I'm about to open up OnlyFans, make buku. Oh. What does that say? I, I can't see. It's 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 in mirror mode. Fuck. It said, "Be my what? Why? Be a nice human." Oh, be a nice human. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. But the UFC is smart. They just. They money hungry. They took the, the smartness the is screwing people over. So it's, is that yeah. smart? It's, 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 yeah, they're, they're, they're smart. They're smart because they have a monopoly over the fucking cable industry. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. they teamed up. They teamed up with ESPN and they have the reach for all the TV shows. And Bellator is with stars or some shit, and that's not as big as ESPN. And they can't do as many um, events as ESPN. But Bellator pays their fighters way more. So now the, the mystique is the UFC is the NFL, NBA, WWE of the fight industry. But you have guys in one championship fighting that's actually fighting mixed martial arts fights where it'd be like the first round is Muay Thai, the second round is wrestling, the third round is mixed martial arts, the fourth round will be kickboxing, the fifth round will be something else. Where it's, every round is a different form of martial arts. And shit, they, they have judo fucking tournaments in there and all that other shit. And they're paying yeah. their fucking fighters. They have the best fighters in the world. Yo, bro, there was a Muay Thai fight where this dude was literally 175 and one. Damn. And he was sitting in the middle of that fucking cage, getting kicked in the face, looking at homeboy like, come on, kick me. Kick the me. Tiny he's dude? Yeah. He's the like doing the he's doing the blood sport. Come on. Come yeah, on. Yeah. 
and then he just he said pop 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 and then knock no boy out. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you that's the that's the problem. They they wiped out the competition without wiping out the competition. Because if it's not seen in America with accessibility, it's not as big as the UFC. It would be if they bring it on TV. They need a... They That's what it is. Deal. That's exactly what it is. Once another company gets another cable industry, like, let's say if Fox were to say, fuck it, we'll sponsor one championship fighting. And they gave it the same push that the UFC, that ESPN gave to UFC then there might be a problem. Who owns Fox? I think Fox is... No, is no. Disney, Disney owns Disney. ESPN. Okay. Yo, Disney, Disney owns, owns ESPN. Fucking half that shit. Yeah, what, I who think... Who owns Fox? Viacom? I think so. One of those media companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, who's the other one? Di- no, is Disney? No, Disney. Disney, Disney I think it's... There's only like six of them. There's only like five people that own media, bro. <laughs> the whole, yeah. every media. It's crazy. I forgot the rest of the names, but whatever. Oh, AT&T is one. Does AT&T own Fox? Well, you know what? <laughs> AT&T, look it up. AT&T is, is one of them. What? Yeah. AT&T, bro. They control what you watch. Yeah, a lot of them. All of them. There's only five companies that do that. They control all oh, no. media. What's Fox Corporation is its own media company. Oh, yeah. nice. They survived. That's, Who, that's what, what are the media companies? What's, what's the top media companies in the world? What are the companies that own media? The Knucklehead Network. They're going to own us soon. Ooh. For y'all, all right. So we have Comcast, Netflix, AT&T, Sony, Character Communications, Thompson, Reuters, Paramount Global, and Fox. What who was Toaster's Trudels? Those are the top 10. Who the hell is Toaster's Trudels? Trudels, I've never heard of that company. Tom- Thompson Rudis. So who, who owns those companies? <laughs> I think, yeah. That's what I'm trying yeah. to get at. Who owns All those? Right, here you go. What are, the f- what are the big four uh, media companies? I think yes. that's what you're talking about. Yeah, the, the big boys. Yeah. The Comcast, big boys. Walt okay. Disney Company, yes. Walt Disney Company, Warner what? Brothers, Discovery, what? and Paramount Global. Oh, okay. Warner Brothers and, and Disney own everything. I think, I think Warner Brothers... May own Fox. Got it. Yeah, I think so too. Either that or Paramount. They showed Batman on Fox. The animated series, I think, was on Fox. Yeah, I think that or or um or Paramount. You know what? Let's see who owns who owns Fox. But uh, which was it? Media conglomerates own Fox, right? Am I tripping on the Warner Brothers sound black? Nah, so dude, no, Walt wrong, Disney man. is the guy. Walt Disney's yeah. one person. Yo. Wait, wait a Disney. minute. The Walt Disney Company, among other key assets, the acquisition of 21st Century Fox wow. by the Walt Disney Company. Yeah. Yes, they yeah they bought Fox, so that way now they got the X Men. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, I told you that. It's like a little part of Fox they own. They probably it's like a little shit. I don't Disney what. Disney does nothing little. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so mergers between two companies that directly compete with another, as is the case with Disney and Fox, are called horizontal mergers. Mergers between companies that do not compete are called vertical mergers or extension mergers, depending on that uh, nature of companies, products, and areas of operation. So I think what, what they might have did was just bought parts of Fox so they yeah. can have their shit. Yeah, like they they bought... I don't remember what part it was. I don't remember where I heard this. But they bought like a certain part. I don't know if it's the sports. I like guess it's, it's Fox something. Fox Sports or Fox something. It's like they bought that and everything else they left is Fox. I don't know why. Well, like because then it would have it would have been it would have been a uh, monopoly. A complete, a complete merger. They smart. Yeah, because we really they, own you, but we don't say we don't. Think about <laughs> this. Walt Disney owns Disney, Marvel. Star Wars, 
Fox, ESPN, they own all of the sports right now. Yep. They own sports. You know what I'm saying? That that would have been a that would have probably been a fucking monopoly. They own Eddie team. So you know what they do now? They Sell. they could monopolize their prices like I've seen other people do, where they oh you don't want to pay me what we want? We want thirty million. Now nah, we ain't gonna pay you that. Then one day you come to your house and that that channel's blocked and your fucking cable box. <laughs> oh, we're having issues with Comcast. To resolve it, call them. You never had that that message? Yeah. The Yes Channel did it <clears throat> like a few years back. They were having trouble with Comcast. Yeah, yo, I, I remember um they had the, if you want, yeah, I think you just said that. If you want to see this channel, call up your company and, yeah. and yeah, and, yeah. And, and ask them to yep. pay us correctly. <laughs> so like that Expert like, Gaming. What? What's going on? Expert Gaming says, what's up, Crows, Toe, and Show? Yo, what's good, bro? The gang is back. Yo, game for real. in the building, baby. Let's go. No, but yeah, um, I remember that. There was a there was a time where, like, uh, I remember it was like stars. Fuck. It's a free weekend for this shit, but if you want this, you got to let, you know, cable, you know, the cable company know that you want us on your shit or something. Matter of fact, you know who, what the... F- uh, yeah, they used to give us like seven day free of channels. Yeah, remember? yeah, Whatever. yeah. <laughs> I remember that. It's actually happening to me I'm now. I'm fucking uh, happy to stay off this fucking shirt. I can't watch none of the Knicks game. MSG is at war with, with, with Xfinity. Shit. Yeah. None of the Knicks game I could watch. Is and I got I got the 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 NBA pass bullshit. But when you go there, it's saying it's being blocked so that you can watch it on MSG. And then when you go to MSG, it gives you the message, yo. Oh, okay, headphones. <laughs> so again. what you saying? So you go to the M- NBA network and they say watch it on MSG. You go to MSG and all you hear is you get nothing. Nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> 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 Yo, they be monopolizing. They tortured them for a whole year till you give me give me the five million. <laughs> Your word. <Be> nice. <laughs> Play nice. <laughs> That's Play crazy, nice. bro. <clears throat> hey. Some people money hungry. Some people you got to do what you got to do, bro. Everything goes up, man. We got to pay for it too. Yo, the world we live in is all dependent on money. It's no longer dependent on service. Because remember back in the day, like Cruz said earlier, and I said this yesterday, you have to give me value for my money. But now people go, no, 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 no. Pay me, fuck you. Yeah. What? Pay me. Monthly, for what? Cause I said so. Mm. You want you want to watch TV, fifty dollars a month. You want to watch these channels, eighty dollars a month. If you want to watch these me. channels without commercials, hundred and twenty dollars a month. Fuck you, pay me. Fuck you, pay me. And what's the difference between just the the, the, the channels? Nothing. Fuck you, pay me. Yeah. That's the uh, difference. Prices. Yeah. I was I was just you, in a oh, trying to yeah. change that. And so. and the be- the best part is this. Like YouTube. Oh, you don't want to watch uh ads? Fuck you pay me. <laughs> and people were like, "Nah, I watch the ads." Okay. Cool. I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, <laughs> not, not, uh, we'll watch the ads. It's only we can skip them. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh. Yo, you you don't want to pay me? Fuck you anyway. 18 ads. Still pay me. Every yeah, 5 minutes. You're going to get you're going to get 4 ads. In the beginning, two you ads know, in the middle, and an ad at the end. Check this out. <clears throat> if you don't pay me to remove these ads, we're still going to make money off of your videos with our ads. Yeah. So either way, they Fuck win. You pay me. Yeah. So either you and, pay more, or you pay less. Smart. And the, best, and the best part about it is this. Get this one. If you do something on your channel, on your, your, your video, <clears throat> we're going to demonetize you. But we're still gonna run ads on your fucking video so that way we can make money off of it. Smart. So fuck you, pay me. Either you pay me with the ads, pay me, yeah. or the ads pay me. Pick Either one. you gonna suck my dick or eat my ass. Worse. There's no choice. Somebody sucking my dick is either you do it 
or <laughs> or they do it. Or they Yo, do it. that was mad aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Yo, show. I never heard the side of you. <laughs> is motherfuckers is jumping in the in the jail cell. Like, which one of y'all want to be my bitch? My man Word. said my my dick getting touched tonight. Tonight, yeah, it might someone. be you. It might be somebody else. Yeah, my my dick is going in someone's mouth tonight, man. Yep. <laughs> my Word. dick is going. My dick going someplace warm today. All right, mm -hmm. open up your mouth. All right, the ass is going to do it. Please, ass going to yeah. do it. Yo, fellas, yeah. on that note, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to get some Z's in. I just took my melatonin. My, my, my melatonin. melatonin. Yeah. <laughs> I took my melatonin <laughs> shots. I'm good. Ready for bed. Holler tomorrow. All right. All right. Always struggling with the fucking leave button. Yeah, I'm pretty sure me and Show are going to sit here for a little while. Fucking talking shit about the Eagles. Right, no, go have fun. It's one of the most insanely movie. idiotic oh, things I've ever heard. At no point me out. in your rambling, incoherent Yo, response, how, that's how were you even close to anything that Habibi? could be considered a what rational big food? What a big Everyone food? in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Habibi's I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. That's right, Chris. Yo, I'm just reading up with the chat now. That's what that's what how it hit me. I have it on full yeah. screen, so I don't see the chat. I minimize it. I'm reading up like yo, Habibi. Yo, crew. Oh shit. What's good? Hab Expert gaming. Yo, so Saquon is gonna go here. Yo, I'm out, bro. I don't want to hear this fucking shit. Yo, Eagles in one, bro. <laughs> Eagles in one. <laughs> oh shit. Mr. Toe, Eagles and one. Wait a minute. Let's check out Toe. We checking out the bets, man. What's going on here? Let's do it. What, kind, the... of bets, what kind of bets you got for tonight? For tonight? Yes, sir. Well, you oh, you, you, you well, ain't no give us the, the link for the fucking... The... What do you... Well, matter of fact, here, you open up the, the bet shit, the best line, and let's see if these are good bets to take. Let's How about it. that one? How about them apples? Well, you could check my bets for me. Well, no, nah, you, you open up the line. Let's check it out. I'm telling you to open it up. Wait a minute, how the fuck? I don't I'm know. You ain't you on a computer the same as me? You, you the, the one that makes the bets. What? All right, what fucking website am I going to to do your shit? Hold on, I'll open it up. I got you. I'm looking right now. I wonder if I could do it online. Should be able to. Let's so see. I just want to say thank you for the talk about Andrew Tate because the way you explained it, you changed my mind. Appreciate you, uh, Big Food. But yo, listen, man. Here's the thing. That y'all fucking young men, because I don't like calling people kings or queens because kings and queens were tyrants back in the day. They let their fucking people starve and all they did was go to war and all that other shit. You know, they worried about themselves. I'm for the people, a community, you know, spreading love, caring for, for another motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do here. So y'all young men need to realize that some of the shit he said makes sense. But the shit he does ain't right. Or the shit he did ain't right. The, the trafficking and all the other shit, you know, embezzling, stealing the money from the woman. All that shit was fucked up. You feel me? So, yo. Y'all niggas got to start listening to some OGs. The world ain't that difficult. It's hard, but it ain't that difficult. Go out there, live your life. Don't be afraid to fail. Yeah. Failure is a part yeah. of life. It's a big part of life. That's why there are winners and losers. You know what I'm saying? There are winners, there are losers, and there are people that haven't figured out a way to win yet. If you ain't winning... Be that person that haven't figured out a way to win yet. Don't be no loser. Some people are out there being losers, complaining about the situation and this and, the, and that and the third, and they don't want to do nothing about it. And growing up, when in the time that me, show Krills, Oche, Lay, Cabs, Cap, fucking Gigi, Kenny, Pro, growing up in the times we grew up, you wasn't feeling sorry for yourself. That we didn't have time. That soaking, we didn't. The parties we went to never started with pity. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't let each other have a pity party. You feel me? 
So grab your balls. And go out there. What? And <laughs> grab your balls. Go out there. Do your twenty-two push-ups with your hand, with your balls in your hand, what? and go, go fucking steal the day. You know what I'm saying? Stop fucking what? around. Stop fucking around. Let's sh- show. Let them know. Bro, fuck you, Mama Webber. Bro, One button. Friend, bro. We yeah. gotta, you gotta get it together. Let them know. Fuck off. All right, so I uh, think I'm ready. All right, just uh, send me the video. I'll put it up on the screen. No, it's not a video. I might have to. I logged in on my computer. That's what I'm saying. I'm send me the. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I'm send me. He said, do, See? do See? what you're supposed to do when you're doing it. Do it right. Yeah, I'm tired of you telling me what the fuck I'm doing every time I'm doing something. All right. Because I'm getting tired. You can tell what the fuck I'm doing every time I'm doing Ooh. something. Are you looking? Hey, you Man, what you said, you need to get the fuck out of my business, nigga. Hey. Let me know when you're looking. So yeah, my business. Okay. So I can move. So what you saying? Yeah, I'm looking. We looking. We looking. Like, what are you? What you mean? What I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So what you saying? Did I place these in New York? Or New... Nah, these were in New York. I'm trying to cheat. All right. So settle. Let's see what which, we do. Which New York? All right, not bad. That's that's Mr. Bain. Came through. That's a dub. You want $9? Yeah. No, How much you, you put, in... All right, you put $5 on, in there. Come on, bro. You think I'm a trillion there? Yeah. We take it easy. This is not no... This ain't no crazy. I'm I'm a cheap better. I put $2 here, $1 there. That's it. No, I ain't, you, ain't you, taking my money. You, you bet whatever you could lose. Exactly. That's how I am. And my mother taught me. Not to lose a lot. Well, mm-hmm. she used to go to casinos and put everything in it. Nah, nah, not me. So yeah, yeah. $5 dollars on Desmond Bain. Points of rebound. We won that. That's good. Oh, yeah, this is the message for you. So I just want to say, I know I hadn't come to your stream, but I still love you, So Yeah, we love you too, big fool. We know, yo, dude, we know that y'all live in your lives. We appreciate every single one of y'all that come into the chat. Whenever you can come into the chat, we gonna be here for you. You know what I'm saying? So, Tight. you being here now, we appreciate it. You could have been anywhere else. Look at look at show looking like a Russian. Tight, that. bro. One guy messed up my whole parlay. Oh shit! Oh fuck you, Mama Webber. This one hey. guy. He called Mama Pinga. <laughs> Mama Turner. Burn. Fuck everything up. Look, look, check, check. These two what was be good. what was his shit? He needed 17 fucking points, bro. Wow, that cop right, sucked. Fuck you about that. And he couldn't even do that. That motherfucker. This got canceled. He must have not played, which is cool. I would have so, had this whole thing. So basically, you want uh, you want to send a message to Miles Turner and the messages. Go suck a dick, suck a dick, suck a motherfucking dick. Suck a dick, suck a dick, suck a Let me see. This one I already messed up. The, the, the next... It fucked everything up. <laughs> Show delivering Russian mail or the bride's UPS. I need one of them. The, the you got a you got a chick bad enough. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, not bad. Not a bad day. Two two out of three. Hey. Yo. Keep it simple. Dude, you made some money. I seen that you made some money. Yeah. Cause I lost the whole parlay one, which was five dollars, but I made nine and nine, so let's duck the nine from the eighteen. I made thirteen, so that's it. That's how I play. If I lose, at least I bet some single ones in case I win, make my money back. Yo, all I heard you say was some real shit. Put your titties on the glass. What? What? Mm. What? Now get. That's it. Who put some, titties? Put, some t- put your titties on the glass. Hey, yo. <laughs> you know my boy Big Food would love that. Titties? You know Big Food is back. Word. Wait a minute. Isn't Big Food... Expert gaming. 5-0? He's 5-0 now, right? No, 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 no. Who was it that turned cop? 
on us. Remember that was that was uh that was uh meatball blue cheese. Blue, blue cheese. cheese, blue cheese. Okay, okay. What up, Daniel? Hey. You coming sneaking up in this motherfucker? Daniel, man, coming sneaking, joking. I got you. Word. Oh, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> and yo, and not for nothing. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. <laughs> Speaking about that, I don't think uh, Vince McMahon will ever sell to the rival. I would never. I would rather sell it to Disney. Vince McMahon owns eighty-seven percent of the WWE. That's why he was able to walk right back in. I don't think he's ever going to sell this company. I've been saying this shit for months now. He's not going to sell this fucking company. It was a smoke screen to get him back in there, and for people, it's the look at this hand. Look at this hand. A setter for the fucking a setter for people coming in and going Come on out, you rapist. People are going, he's selling the company. That's what it was. It was control your narrative. I'm a, yo, I'm coming back to sell the company. And everybody's like, he's coming back to sell the company. Now all of a sudden he's hiring other people to come back that just been fired and he's taking control of everything. Nigga, by the time Royal Rumble hits fucking Elimination Chamber of WrestleMania, he's gonna be running shit. Fuck around. <laughs> I'm Fuck back. around, he's gonna it be running shit. Me, Austin. Nope. I haven't played Call of Duty in a minute, uh, Big Food. But we might have to do it. Me, me and me and uh, Show might have to, you know. But we'll some, still some bust duty. your ass, is what he's saying. Word, word. We might have and to another do it. Team. Yep. Shit, yo, you ready? The next two weekends, we're gonna be doing some crazy shit. Yo, Big Food. Stop by tomorrow. We got we got a a couple of females showing up on the podcast. You might like them. You know what I'm saying? Show knows what I'm talking about. Yo, I haven't played since the new update. Like I I have not played the new update Maybe at all. Haven't updated the new update. <laughs> I <laughs> update all my shit. I update all my games. I just don't play it. So I don't know the new maps. I don't know nothing. Me neither. We gonna get killed and frustrated as usual. Word. Yeah, but fuck it. Know. We gonna do what we do, baby. Yeah. We, we gonna, gonna make it do what they do, baby. Fucking show. What did I do? You know what you did. All right, fuck you, buddy. We was there when you did it. You. You fucking mark. <laughs> rest in peace. To Jay Briscoe. Uh, Jay Briscoe. And prayers up for his kids. I heard he the, the kids were in the car as well. They're yes. in physical condition. So rest in, uh prayers up for the kids. I hope they they pulled through. Man, that's crazy. I was Fire. listening to that in my ear from YouTube. And I didn't know I thought he died naturally. I didn't know what, what I knew he died. I saw the pictures and then I, I saw y'all talking about it, but it's, I've been really hectic these couple of weeks with work. So yeah. I, haven't, I haven't been out of, you could tell I haven't participated in anything. Not a picture. I used to send corny pictures. I, don't, I can't even do that. So I didn't hear the story till today. I was like, oh, it was a really bad accident. Yeah. The kids were in the car too. No, nah, I haven't seen Pumpy in a while. Uh, Big food. If you see him, tell him to get his ass in here. We need to speak. That's crazy. We've seen these kids grow up, bro. Pumpy's probably not a kid no more. Pumpy 18, yeah. 19. Damn. Yeah. I, I, I see Pumpy sometimes. He be tweeting. Uh, me too. He be tweeting like some... Sports stuff. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if he does streaming anymore. Like before, he used to be like the number one moderator. Yep. In a lot of streams. One of his daughters had surgery on her back earlier today because she didn't feel her legs after the wreck. Wow. But at least she's she's pulling through though. She sounds. If they're working already on her legs and stuff, it's because she's, you know, her heart and her brain is working, so she's going to be okay. They wouldn't yeah. start working on your leg unless 
like, yo, you, you alive. Word. We leave that for last. Be you honest, know yo, you, you, you about to die. Fuck the feeling in your legs. Word. Fuck your legs, miss. Your heart just stopped. Clear. I'm pretty sure when they saying clear, they don't say, oh, the legs. Yeah. Let's make these legs move before we make this person well, like, live. Well, the heart. The heart. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> they need a leg transplant. So mind us, guys. We're just trying to lighten up the mood. Yeah. You know, yeah. we are here potting. We're in no way making fun of the situation, though. Just making it clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Saturday night. Saturday. Wait a minute. Oh shit. Saturday night, baby. See the picture right there? Ooh, you see him up there? He's ready. Shaquan. Shaquan. Ooh, you see the eyes? I wish Krills was here. Look, he's looking at him. What you talking about? What you talking about? Fuck you. I'm going to run all day. <laughs> I'm running all day. Nah, but all seriousness, man. Good luck to both teams. May the best team win. Yep. Of course, the Giants. Um, hey, man. That's the beauty of sports. You can, you can root for whatever team you want. Yes, sir. And on any given Sunday, any team could win. Word. Uh, Toe, speaking of sports, do you think LeBron James is a good player? How dare you? Yo, you know, not for nothing, uh, Big Food, I would have said no before what? he won his championship in Miami. What? Even yeah. with the record? What record? The one he's about to break? I'm saying before he won his championship in Miami Heat. Okay, I was I'm going back say. in the day. Like, back in the day, I would have said no. He's just one of those guys that that scored like he's like Kevin Durant to me got skills, but I don't think he's one like I wouldn't put him on my team ahead of somebody else. He's not a leader. He's not somebody that can take me to the fucking the championship and win it for me. He's Antonio he need, Brown. The most he's, skills wasted. He's he's Dennis Rodman. Where it's it's Dennis Rodman was a rebounder, right? And that he was like a specialist. He was a special. His specialty was rebounding and get Jordan the ball. Kevin Durant's specialty is scoring and nada más. He's a pure scorer. Yeah, but we know what scorers do. Damian Lillard it is, is a fucking scorer. Fucking uh, James Harden is a scorer. That don't mean they win. That don't mean they're winners. But once LeBron James won his championship with the Heat, and he took over the, the Cavs again and he showed his heart and his, his intelligence in the game and all that other shit. Yeah, I think he's one of the best right now. I think the Cavs once solidified it for me. The Miami one was easy. Them three guys was gonna suppose matter of fact they were supposed to win all of them. Three or yeah. four. They didn't they actually underachieved. Now yeah. the Cav ones when he put him everything on his back against this monster. Golden State team. Yeah, that's but, what I said. What? See, see that that's the thing though. He goes, Do you have respect for him like like you have for Kobe? Kobe, I think, is the last player in that generation that was willing to, to die for this shit. Like, I don't like listen, I see the heart in LeBron James to win. I don't see that willing to die in him to win. Like Kobe, like for for some reason I felt like if it's game 68 in the season and the Lakers are fucking 67 and all and they're winning by 30 points, 12 seconds left, if the ball went out of bounds, Kobe's still diving for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the old school mentality. That's the mama mentality. Like, you don't get a second here. I think I think LeBron is not diving for that ball, whether that's the possession to win the game. Hey, yeah, the billion dollar body. I ain't breaking it. You I hear you. 
I hear you and I respect that, but I also am a part of that whole that generation. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a part of that generation of yo. If you're gonna beat me, I'm gonna give you everything I got, and you're gonna earn this victory. You're gonna. This is gonna be the hardest blowout you've ever had in your life. Word. Like you can beat me 120 to to six, and it's gonna be the hardest game you ever played. I'm taking one of y'all with me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But that was that was the old school mentality. That was the old school mentality because as much as people don't want to say this, sports back in the day was will versus will. It wasn't skill versus skill. Who breaks first? That's why the Detroit Pistons, the bad boy Pistons, was so effective because they were willing to hurt you to see if you broke or not. And the teams that beat them were the ones that didn't break. You know, like like the fucking Iron Curtain. Remember that that football uh, defense? Yeah. Was it the Bears? Steelers? Was it the Bears? The Steelers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, they were out to hurt people. You know, that's why everybody's saying like Emma Smith and Deion Sanders. These are the best guys because they're out there with monsters and they're running through them. They're running through them. I've never seen Deion Sanders get tackled or hit. Yeah. Look at Ray he Lewis. Ray Lewis. Back. Yeah. Ray Lewis was fucking looking to kill people. He wasn't trying to sack nobody. He went out there to kill somebody. Do I like Kobe more than LeBron? I like Kobe's mentality more than LeBron. I, I like that dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. I would, I would put LeBron on my team because he's a team player. He's like magic. You know? That's, that's the thing. I would compare him to magic more than, than Jordan. You know? Because Magic was a facilitator. He he got the team working. He can play every position. Jordan was, give me the ball. Jordan was what Carmelo Anthony hoped and dreamed to be. You know, just give me the ball and, and we'll win. What you think, Show? I'm trying to think if LeBron is the same way, just in the opposite way. Give me the ball, we're going to win, whether I have to pass it because I don't have the, the best shot. Well, yeah, so it's like uh, Jordan's give me the ball and I'm going to score, where LeBron is give me the ball and I'm going to run the offense. Yeah, give me the ball, I'm going to do yeah. what's best for what's about that. Well, I'm going to do what's best yeah. for us. So you, it's it's just different mentalities, but they both effective because I seen him. I mean, he's won a couple of championships, and yeah. he makes his team better, as you can see. Yeah, it's like his team can't play a fucking second without him. Without him, that's what I'm saying. That's a good sign about a player. Like when you leave, yeah, but that sucks. For crazy. The, that sucks for the team, though. It's like how are you up by twenty? LeBron sits out for two minutes, and you down by ten. <laughs> like what happened? How does that feel for a thirty-eight year old? That's like me getting the worst route at <laughs> yeah. now at this point. Like, yo, I can't do it. I need to. We're supposed to be going on a downhill. I'm supposed to be taking a break, extra. I'm supposed to be playing 30 minutes, man. I'm yeah. old. Where these young niggas at? Word. We losing. I'm out here struggling. So if you're going to play basketball, who will you pick to play with? Kobe or LeBron? LeBron, bro, he's a freak of nature. He's six I, nine, three hundred pounds. Not for nothing. I I would pick LeBron for the simple fact that I want to play. Also, LeBron would pass me the ball. Yeah. But and also my thing is this: like, I love playing with people who are unselfish, but who I can depend on. But if I'm gonna play against somebody, my dumb ass wants to play against Kobe. That's crazy. My dumb ass would be awesome. I got Kobe. I'm a D, I'm gonna play Dion Kobe. That's how crazy I am, show. You the opposite. I never had I had a Kobe on my team in school. He made every shot. He was nice. I ain't never complained. Matter of fact, here. <laughs> I know I ain't gonna make it. So 
Would you feel uncomfortable watching a guy make 80, 80 points? Like, damn, I want to play. Oh, fuck it, we winning. Like, how does, is the competitiveness in you? Like, nah. Yeah, nah, yeah. Because I'm a team I player. Some. To me, I'm not out here to just fucking stand here. I'm not a, I'm a, I'm not a spot filler. If you want somebody that's going to sit here and, and fill the spot so you can play, you wasting my time, I'm going to go home. I got better shit to do than just stand here. I came here to play. And that's how that's how Shaq felt, I guess. Now, if it was one of those things where I'm the the point guard and I'm getting hit, like he's getting open and I'm passing the ball and it's a team effort, like he could score all the points he wants. But it's like I'm like, yo, boom, boom, boom. I got I got Kobe. This is the team. I know where he's at. Whoop. The the one to hit. Smart place. Yeah. Fine. Fine. But if it's Kobe's bringing the ball down, scoring and all, and I'm not touching it, nah. If I'm not a part of the offense, I am not playing. I never remember Kobe bringing it down, though, like that. Like Jordan. Like bringing it down, popping, locking. He he well, used his point guard, Derek Fisher. He says that's his favorite teammate. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So, because I, I don't remember him coming down like James Harden or like Damian Lillard. I got it. Move out the way. I show. Like, I've never seen him. I usually see him off a, like, a post. Ask me to ball off the post. The little shimmies. He, he was practicing on that. He took it. Matter of fact, he spoke to Jordan directly. At one time, they was laying down. I mean, that picture they got of him, he said he spoke to him. Steph Curry, LeBron James, or Kobe. Uh, LeBron James, bro, six nine, three hundred pounds. Just body, I'm gonna say body wise. Even Michael, you imagine Michael Jordan, six nine, three hundred pounds. Freaking nature, Kobe. I mean, all right, you saying who's the best out of all of them? I mean, it's hard not to pick Kobe. Like it to me, it was like Jordan, Kobe, Bron, and then. Ron's doing his thing, but you know, like growing up seeing Kobe play, you don't, you know what I'm saying? What? That's like, yo, bro, bro, that's like growing up watching Muhammad Ali and then going, who's better, Muhammad Ali or Mayweather? Going, yeah, Mayweather is nice, but I seen the best in the world fight the best in the world, and he made them look like idiots. Like, let another boxer come up talking about, oh, I'm the best. Who's better, him or Mayweather? We're gonna be sitting like, yo, bro. My man Mayweather made people look stupid. Yeah, you like you just fighting these people. You ain't doing what what Mayweather was doing. And there's no knock on LeBron, but it's a totally different game, and the style of game that I like, that 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 fucking grit and gritty shit. You know that 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 Allen Iverson type style of play. That I like to see, that I like to play myself. It's one of those like I gravitate towards Kobe here, because Steph Curry is an excellent shooter, LeBron James is an excellent captain, but when the shit hits the fan, and yo, we we need someone to make a difference in this game, not to score the winning point, to make a difference in this game. Who has that on switch? Oh. At, at six six, starting guard, Michael. It could, yo. Growing up as a fan, bro, we always was down in the fourth. For some reason, we always was down by like two possessions, two, four, like four, five points in the last minute of the game. And here he come, Michael. A steal here. A foul there, and one tongue is out. Thirty yeah, seconds. Cause you, you, Two you points down. Yeah, you don't see that. Like, you, what we saw LeBron do the run, uh, the run down block once in the playoffs against the the Warriors. Greatest block ever. You know what I'm saying? But then, and then you go back to history. It's like, yo, the Knicks are up by like six, fifteen seconds left, and fucking Reggie Miller comes back and wins the game. Choke. You, you know what I'm saying? Like Jordan with the steals. Like those playmaking differences 
are what I'm like, yo, this is why these guys are the best. So you don't remember, I'm not going to lie, because I, I do remember a few times. You don't remember LeBron ever having that playmaking, like, difference. Like, damn, he just took over. I I remember him doing it with other people. Like, I remember LeBron fighting off the Warriors with his second string point guard because someone else stepped up to help LeBron. I remember when, when they finally won, him and Kyrie were both averaging 40 points a game. 40, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I'm not saying that they probably didn't do that with Kobe and, and Jordan, but it's just one of those things. It's like Ray Allen hit that three to help beat the, the Spurs. But he, and I know, I know, yeah, I know Steve Kerr did it, but it's, it's hard for me to say this without taking anything away from LeBron, but my, let's, let's say this, my nostalgia and my memory of Jordan and Kobe and Shaq and those, that era of basketball. It just outweighs what's happening now. It's like asking me, who's the better wrestler? Um, Brian Danielson or Kurt Angle? There's no doubt in my mind Kurt Angle's the best wrestler. Because I saw him and he did some shit that you ain't never seen again because of that era of wrestling. You know what I'm saying? And it's not to knock these guys now. It's a different era. You got to do different things. But the shit that I, that stole my heart, that stole my fucking love for this, the, that embedded that, it can't be beat until something comes and becomes better. You know? Like Raquel Pennington. I showed y'all that she liked my story when I put up her her post in my story. She's one of my favorite female fighters because her nickname is Rocky and she fights like Rocky. She goes out there, she throws blows, she gets rocked, and she her heart is fucking giant size. Scary fighter. Yeah. Take, take a lot to give. Boom, beam, and, boom. And that's yo, that's the type of fighter I like. Someone whose heart is giant like. You can't destroy their will. You can beat them, but you ain't going to destroy their will. It's like, yo, unanimous decision, she lost, but you fucked up. You earned that fight. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like her. That's why she's one of my favorite female fighters. Everybody else can have skill and all that other shit, knock people out. I like Tyson because he knocked people out. But I like Roy Jones because of his skill. I like fucking Bernard Hopkins because the way he thought. You know, mm. the way he outthinks people. Mayweather, the way he out defenses people. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a sweet science. And when they show the science in their game, it it attracts me to him. Like Deontay Waller is just a fucking big puncher. He doesn't have uh, base like he doesn't have the traditional boxing skills. That's why I ain't pick him to win. My boy Tyson Fury is, is there Tyson? Uh, yeah. He is a boxer. I seen him dodging. I seen him yeah. move. And even him, though, I don't think would 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 be able to keep up with like a Lennox Lewis or Tyson or any of those guys back in the day. Because there was more skill to it. Because, yo, Tyson knocked people out in 50 seconds. But watch Tyson fight. He was not a big puncher. He was a boxer. You could not hit Tyson. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was hard for you to touch Tyson. And he's whoop, 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 black Hey, fuck you, buddy. What's going on, Kenny? That's that's the face for you, yo. What? What? 
Bro, what are you talking about, man? What's I don't even know if that's PG. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta come see you on a whole nother show. Show. Man, I mean, I do. He's talking about Monday when he replaced me with a with a with a skinnier, younger looking me. And Kenny, Kenny just wants you to acknowledge me. Kenny, I apologize. Look, look, I'm still in uniform. I'm not even supposed to be here. I don't know where I'm at. I'm still delivering box. There you go, Kenny. Get your ass to work. We're talking about practice, man. <laughs> Shut your damn mouth. Yeah, so oh. so what you what you think, Joe? What do I think about? How you feel about what I was just saying about the different era of, re- of basketball? You you would pick LeBron James over all them? I agree with you. I just disagree with one thing. You said LeBron James back in the days or oh, wouldn't survive. I feel like you don't understand. Hold up. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt. You don't understand no, what LeBron would it, be able to do. Here's my thing. I think LeBron back in the day. In early in his career, that LeBron wouldn't have, wouldn't have survived. Nah. But if he was raised in that era, and okay. he played and got tough like Jordan and, and had that, it would have been a different story. Six nine three hundred. So what, Shot. I step, what, what did I step into? Elbows, elbows right, so in the paint, everything, knees. I'm we, going in there. Yeah. We was we was asking. They asked us who who do you like better, Kobe or LeBron? Then it was Steph Curry, Kobe. LeBron or Kobe. Yeah. So I'm explaining why the old school way of basketball or sports, oh, you know, grabbed me, and I will mm-hmm. always be on that old school shit. Right. But I mean, old old school NBA. If you look at it, they were those guys are were tough for the simple fact that they used to sit there and try to freaking knock each other to, down to the to the floor. And I mean, you know, just just to get there. How many times did they knew that Jordan was gonna freaking drive in into the paint, and you had somebody like Oakley or you had Ewing go in and fucking try to like knock his head off? Yeah, you know what I mean. And then and then you know then you go into the Shaq era of of, of basketball as a as a big guy. He knew how to use his body to you know to 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 get people out of his way. And that's what people, and that's what a lot of people used to hate about Shaq. Like once you see him go up in the air, you know he's gonna land on you. Yeah, he didn't yeah. give a shit. Kobe, Kobe was he was like a, a a transitional player of old school to new school. He knew how to play with the old school guys, but he also knew how to play with the young guys too. And I mean, but then when he, as he started to get older into his um into his career, he was just like more old school way, and that's what that's what hurt him. A lot more because he just wanted to play like old Kobe when he was coming straight out of high school. You know what I mean? But LeBron now, LeBron, not for nothing, LeBron plays smart. And this is why LeBron is, is has such a long career. Yeah. He's not going to sit there and throw his body on the line against a big guy that knows he's going to try and take his fucking head off. Totally. He's going to th- he's gonna throw, he's gonna throw it off. He's going to throw it off to freaking um, Beverly. And let him get his fucking head knocked off. He ain't gonna do it himself. <laughs> I told him that. Die for a ball. I'm worth a billion dollars. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with Shit, you? LeBron still wanna play with his kid. Oh, he, yeah. he ain't trying, he ain't trying to be out here doing no fucking highlight reels over big guys. Unless he, unless the guy's not looking. Yep. Yeah. I'm 38. He older than me. I could barely walk. Yeah, the boss pretty eight. My feet hurt. Everything hurt. And he was born in 84, a year older than me. Yep. I feel like shit. I need to accomplish. But I mean, remember, he, LeBron got the best sports doctors in the world. That's true. He ain't doing half the shit you doing. I agree. I need to set my shit up. Oh shit! He's hitting the bigs, y'all. It's over. He high now. He's he's trying to stay. He's trying to stay up because I keep seeing him talking, and his eyes are low. His eyes are getting low. 
You should just end this. I just came on because I saw seeing you guys on. Oh, I'm I, we done. I was about to look, look at the message I was about to send you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was Not ready. Yet, yet. I'm like, Not I, yet, yet. I gotta we're gonna, go get some dinner. No, we're gonna we're gonna call it a we're gonna call it a night. I just wanted to give show a chance to say his piece because he came on late and then you yeah. came on. I was like, well, you know, we want to. No, yeah, no, from, I just from can't. I, just came on. I, I saw that you guys are on still, so I was like, "Oh, they they, they put an all nighter." I was like, "All right, let me just nah, nah, nah. pop in real quick." <laughs> Man, fuck show and Kenny. Bro, fuck you, Mama Webble. You can leave right now. That's it. That's it. You are <laughs> fake news. And on and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it's your friendly neighborhood knucklehead signing out. Peace, everybody. Grapes on really? crunch, yo. Don't be rude. What you got? Yep. Great. Nothing. <laughs>